What does it mean to dress sustainable? Or what is sustainable fashion in general? Sustainable fashion means being selective. There's so many layers of sustainable fashion, and I think in Singapore, people are really finding connections through all those different ways that you can be sustainable. What does it mean to dress sustainable? Or what is sustainable fashion in general? That is so nuanced. Dressing sustainably could mean only buying pre-loved. It could be discovering some new local brand that makes pieces ethically. I think one of the really big barriers to shopping pre-loved, which we all know is a more sustainable way to shop, is that things are still really expensive or things are really cheap. It's very hard to find that mid price point. People tend to think that if it's pre-loved, particularly if it's a shoe, they think, oh, it's dirty, or maybe it has bad luck, maybe it's old. And so it's changing the perception around that. I would love to see there be more pre-loved and secondhand options, particularly here in Singapore. I would also love to see brands slow down and narrow their assortment a little bit, curate the right items for their customer and not mess with that. Sometimes we don't need so much of everything. Sustainable fashion to me is artisanal. There's a whole journey involved from the beginning of creating the textile, from sketching to carving, to working on different dyes, to stamping, to washing, to drying. It takes time to make our products. Everything is handmade and we're supporting and celebrating the people who make our garments. A meter of textile would probably take about two hours to make while in a fast fashion practice when you're using machines, it takes seconds. The art of block printing or the art of any craft of making textiles is slowly diminishing because artisans are not respected enough and I feel like if there's awareness out there, it would be so amazing for them, the communities that we are all supporting, to help them grow and to create confidence in them that what they're doing is phenomenal work in the fashion industry. I think consumers are starting to know a lot about what sustainable and ethical fashion is all about. And that is because there are brands like myself who are showcasing the journey it is takes to make their products, why they're made and where they're made. I just think as a consumer, it's important to shop smartly, buy quality goods, buy classic goods, and just be wise about how you shop. It makes a huge difference in terms of, you end up saving more than spending more. Sustainable fashion means zero waste. We were from the fast fashion industry where we witnessed a lot of ways where they cannot sell their product so they cannot donate, they can only throw it away due to contract. We try not to style our things, although it might be vintage and traditional wear in itself, we try to style it in a more modern perspective. So that way, customers can understand that what you wear can fit within your everyday style. So whether it is off-cut or full apparels, like in the case of our kimonos, thing is made completely new. Everything is created from either unwanted materials or things that are off-cut. So in that way, we allow ourselves to be very particular about the material choices that we make and not adding to the waste that is already in the industry. There is a very standard cookie cutter idea to what people think sustainability is. The first thing that comes to mind is like vintage fashion stores, so like streetwear, or if not, it's the very um, resort hobo chic kind of styles but sustainability goes way past that and I feel that a lot of brands might heavily focus too much on that the whole sustainability route instead of focusing on like how good your product is the hope is that I think sustainable fashion doesn't need to be seen as a secondary thing it's still seen as a very second class kind of situation whether it's the price point whether it's worthwhile for customers to buy it I think it has to reach a point where there's an equal playing ground. Sustainable fashion means renting more. Six years ago when we first started, when we talk about renting your day-to-day -day clothes, you know, renting your outfit to work, to brunch, to like a date night, it seems so bizarre and people couldn't really understand why would you rent something like that. I think fast forward to six years now, you know, when people are going for a wedding or they are going out, it's a special treat to themselves. They start asking, oh, do I really need to buy that outfit or should I rent? 
And I think just understanding that they have actually taken rental as an option on top of just buying as part of their fashion consumption, that itself is progress. Fast fashion follows a very linear, simple model where you have production, distribution and sales. For our business model, we actually want to make it as circular as possible. So what does that mean? It means that we need to enable our consumers to rent, to buy, to consign, to restore, to sell. If I get to dream, right, I think brands actually will start to embrace a hybrid business model. They are actually going to take in a lot more of that circular operating model into their current business model and really embrace that. Consumers, I believe that they are going to embrace fashion sustainability as the norm. They're going to rent things that they're going to wear once or twice. They're going to invest in better quality items that are maybe the basics or things that they really love. All these different ways are going to lead us to a road where fashion is going to be a zero-waste ecosystem. Sustainable fashion isn't about what you have, it's what you do with what you have. In Singapore, we have here overconsumption and textile waste. So we wanted to have a simple and easy platform that everyone can be part of. And this is when swapping came about. The big difference of what we do from fast fashion is obviously we don't produce clothes. We try to maximize the existence of the produced clothes by doing a lot of stuff. So first is we do clothes swapping and if it doesn't get swapped, we do thrifting and we also do upcycling. We had our first retail space. We would have literally um, customers who would walk in the shop and then once they knew that it is a secondhand shop, they would walk away. And now it's lesser and more people are open. In the beginning, the whole conversation was just about organic cotton and buying new things that are produced well or produced ethically. So fast forward to now, we have different ways on how we can engage or how we can be more sustainable and it's an amazing amazing way to see that everyone is exploring those ways like secondhand renting subscription I hope in the future the whole conversation of what sustainability is is not just about owning clothes but also on how we use clothes and how does it really empower us and really understanding what clothes means to us Sustainable fashion means personal style. So I've been thrifting for, I would say, 14 years at this point. When I first started, it was really not to be sustainable. It was really because I was very budget conscious at that point. But now that's a little bit different because my focus towards fashion has been shifted more towards personal style and dressing for myself, dressing in what makes me feel comfortable. So last time, thrift stores were very, very rare. It was usually conducted out of like a church, for example, or a Salvation Army or individual very, very small shops. But now it has shifted into being kind of more like a trend. It's more of finding treasures that are secondhand. There are more shops being set up, but I feel that that's a good thing. It's a good thing that people are finding secondhand clothing cool and more widely accepted. I think the two main things that are stopping people are accessibility and also size inclusiveness. A lot of my friends who are more plus size, they want to be trendy, they want to find affordable clothes. There aren't a lot of options for plus size female presenting people out there. I wouldn't say that we need more thrift stores in Singapore because right now we have a lot and I don't want to promote overconsumption and excess consumerism but instead I think we could have more initiatives and maybe more events talking about mindfulness, buying with intention, focusing on personal style and working with what you have. Sustainable fashion means thoughtful design. It started off with me being in fast fashion for the past decade, you know, going through the cycle of constantly producing, selling, slashing prices. Then I noticed the reoccurring pattern or rather the vicious cycle of balance between supply and demand. Oftentimes we'll overproduce and have to slash prices to move inventory along. Moving forward, I wanted to do something that has a bit more impact 
as to how we produce and consume fashion, like we said, which is why I decided to marry fashion and technology. We produce based on actual customer demand and also produce in a way that is sustainable for the company as well as the environment. I think fast fashion is really strong, specifically in Singapore as well as other parts of Asia. It's not going to go away. There's the instant gratification with a very low cost. Secondly, we have um, the abuse word of sustainability. I think people are so tired. What does it really mean? I think for brands, perhaps we can be engaging the consumers through a different method. I think one other word that could be used more in replacement of sustainability or sustainable product would be thoughtful design, perhaps, that could change the perspective of consumers. Sustainable fashion means circularity and community. Fast fashion is a typical model of a linear economy. So take resources from the planet and make cheap copies with the exploitation of people and also the planet. We are the completely opposite. We don't have any new items that we make. We basically circulate the existing resources and represent them to make them lovable to our new fashion lovers out there. We do get a lot of fast fashion brands. How we see it is that it's not staying in somebody's wardrobe and rotting away there. And at the same time, we take in these clothes so, and make sure that the ones that we then present out are still in good quality. A lot of people will still only want to donate clothing. That's why our textile recycling bins are actually quite well used. <laughs> but I don't think they are ready to accept or swapping or actually going to the effort to shop for sustainable brands because fast fashion after all is such an accessible thing. You know, you can go online, it's so cheap. You can get so many options. I think people need to get out there more because if they don't, how will they even know what we have available? I really one day hope that this kind of churning out of fast fashion copies just stops. You know, that's my dream. I think the future of fashion is more young designers out there creating original creation and not like copies that are duplicated. So I hope we have a better relationship with the things that we have. It's better that you buy a fast fashion and wear it over and over again uh, than to buy a sustainable brand and only wear it one time. Sustainable fashion means a garment with a story. I think we're much more aware today in 2023 of how fashion impacts the environment. Fast fashion being one of the worst contenders, right? Because they make so much and their whole business model is about us replacing new clothes. Essentially, where we are today is that we have this knowledge but nothing is changing. I think Singapore has been very ahead of the curve in terms of adopting sustainability as a practice and thinking about sustainable fashion. As a result, we have lots of emerging sustainable brands. There's a lot of media trying to bring attention to the issues. But there's this say do get and we say that we're sustainable but we sometimes don't have sustainable practice. And the major barriers, maybe sustainable products are a little bit more expensive. Maybe there's not the variety. So I think sustainable brands have a long way to go. What are the other barriers? It's knowledge about what is actually out there in the different price points. People just don't know. Myself, I love fashion, but I don't have time to do all the searching. I would love to see fashion give back to communities and be more ethical, especially when it comes to labor practices. So I'm also in love with Tamay Textiles and heritage. I'd love to see fashion brands do more of that. Adopting new technology would be really exciting. I'd like to see fashion brands do more research and investment in this really exciting space of like bio fabric and renewable fibers. Sustainable fashion means repairing and upcycling. I feel that a lot of consumers still are not very sure on what sustainable fashion is because a recent survey showed that 31% of Singaporeans still are not sure on what kind of sustainable fashion options there are in Singapore. A lot of consumers have this mindset that sustainable fashion is actually very expensive because for example, if you were to buy a dress from a sustainable fashion brand, it typically costs $100 and above. So how we can overcome this barrier is to teach consumers that by buying like such clothes, even though it's $100, as long as you wear them very often, the cost of wear actually decreases. You can also buy from secondhand stores like Carousel or do thrifting. I feel that a lot of consumers have a high barrier to sustainable fashion because they are very confused by the marketing materials that are being put out by fast fashion brands and feel that a lot of brands are just greenwashing. 
My personal rule of thumb is I always look at three areas before purchasing from any brands. The first area is whether they have a transparent supply chain operations. The second area is whether they are paying a fair wage to their workers. And the third area is what kind of fabrics they use in their clothes. I hope that consumers would try to look towards upcycling the clothes or to recycle them in bins that are nearby in the future. Sustainable fashion means getting creative. I think there's so many different ways to be involved in sustainable fashion. You can buy and support new brands, you can upcycle, you can create new things from something that's patchwork. It's about using your creativity, using your brain and creating something that's exciting for you and loving what you wear and also loving the planet. Where we are today, youth are aware of the negative side of fast fashion, but I would say a larger proportion still support it and contribute towards the fast fashion economy. A lot of us don't feel very connected or related to the negative side of the fashion industries. It's hard for us to relate because we live in such a beautiful, clean country. We don't see the pollution, we don't see the landfills. So for everyday people like us, we take it for granted and we consume it as its disposable thing. From a consumer perspective, fast fashion has devalued the cost of clothing. Nowadays, we look at jeans and we think, oh, I'll only pay $10 or $20 for a pair of those. It definitely doesn't cost $20 and there's so much more cost behind it, whether it be the labor, the material, or the cost after that we don't really see. I think as consumers, I would say the number one thing is to be more curious and to care about what you buy, to use your money as your voting power. Just like how we know where our food is grown, where it's packaged, where it's from, I think we also need to know where our clothes come from. So I think where we are today, we need to convert people from awareness to action. And that's a step that is tricky, but I think we're slowly getting there and we need more people to start talking about it, sharing about it.